And now the CKBW Weather Watch, three minutes after 11 o'clock. Today we're going to see cloudy skies, a few scattered showers. Highs today, 28. May see the sun this afternoon as well. Mainly clear skies tonight, lows of 16. And tomorrow, mainly cloudy with a chance of showers. Highs of 26. We're going to see a high tide, 155 this afternoon. Our low tide will come your way at 10 after 9 tonight. Here's Leahy on Rock and Country CKBW and the call to the dance. Michael Peterson on Rockin' Country CKBW, drinks wear, stealing lie. Good morning, I'm Bobby, along with you this morning at the Big X, and live with me this morning. Okay, everybody, rewind the tapes a little bit. J.C. Douglas along with me this morning. Good morning, J.C. How you doing, Bobby? Not too bad, thanks. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back. It's so wild being back here in Bridgewater at the Big X and uh, on CKBW. I've always wanted to come back and say hi to the folks since I, since I left. Well, now you're here. I am. And how long are you going to be with us today? A couple hours. Good. I'll stay all day if you want me to. You can if you want. Uh, two hours is probably enough for the audience, so, uh, so we'll, we'll uh, wrap it up at one, and then I'll go out and enjoy the, uh, the Big X, and by that time there'll be sunshine. Right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Let's start with some tunes. They said I could pick a couple uh, from back when I was here in like 1985, and this is one of the songs I was playing back then. John Fogarty and Rock and Roll Girls, Rockin' Country, CKBW. Baby, sometimes I think life is just a rodeo. CKBW, Rockin' Country, and John Fogarty, Rock and Roll Girls, 1985 was the year. Where were you? I was working for this radio station right here, CKBW. And remember when is the uh, name of the, the program to 1 o'clock as I, J.C. Douglas, am uh, sitting here kind of uh, remembering days uh, back uh, in CKBW's history. That was 38 years into its history. Yeah. Now 50 years CKBW has been on the air. Unbelievable. Do you know where I was in 1985? Where were you in 85? Make me feel old, Bobby. Not even in high school. Oh, man, neither was I, actually. That was, uh, <laughs> that was where we had, we had a similarity there. Now, we're here today courtesy of O'Regan's, your import superstore. Take advantage of the big deal event on Toyota. Hyundai and Subaru this week at uh, this week at O'Regan. I get a hundred bucks every time I read that. By the way, oh. just thought I'd let you know that you're supposed to split it with me. You know that. <laughs> I got a pretty cool endorsement <laughs> deal here today, so that's good. Just some questions for you. Shoot. You started what year? Eighty-five. I started and ended in eighty-five. I had a real long run here. How many months? Seven and one half. Was it your first job? It was my very first job in radio, and I've only had two. Well, that's so good. <laughs> it was it was very memorable. It, it's funny thinking back on it being seven and a half months because it seemed like longer, but not in a bad sense. Mm -hmm. it, it was just so much fun, and I packed so much good times and so many great memories into into seven months. It is unbelievable. It was that short a period of time, and uh, it's funny now. I still once or twice a month have someone come up to me in Halifax and say, because I work there at a radio station as well. You see, uh, Q104, and occasionally people come up to me and say, uh, are, are, "You're from Bridgewater, right? You're from the South Shore," and it's. Amazing, because I wasn't. I had never been to Bridgewater before I started working at CKBW, but uh, it sort of becomes your adopted home in a very short time, I found. And uh, What were some of your favorite spots on the South Shore? You had to travel a little bit. Well, I'll tell you, um, I went water skiing like a hundred times that summer at uh, a place down near Caledonia, and I was trying a few months ago, I was telling someone about this great place I went water skiing, I couldn't remember the name of the lake. Pond Hook? No. Oh, let's go through a list. Rosignol? <laughs> Maliga? I think Lake Maliga. Thank you. Or Maliga Lake. Maliga Lake. Maliga Lake. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much, for because I now my memory is enhanced. There you go. That I can a, help you out on spot. that end. I enjoyed that. There was a cottage and lots of fun out there, yeah. And, of course, now Liverpool was a wonderful spot. I always went down there and did a lot of... Uh, promotions and things and there the were dances lots of and stuff i remember you going there dances. oh were you in liverpool at the time yes not yet in high school not yet in high school the little teen dances sneaking uh, out to the I, dances i remember that with my mom excellent yeah. chaperoning perfect <laughs> no so. i had a great time there and and everywhere we went doing uh, promotions and things the people were wonderful um there are some people i hear dropping by from port mattoon today that were great friends of mine that i made while i was uh, here at ckbw and uh Man, I'm so pumped to be back. I'm nervous because I'm like uh, amongst old friends and I'm feeling like, wow, I, this is so cool being back. Well, we're glad you're back. And in just a moment, let's take a look at the weather. Let's do that. Okay. It's the final day of the big deal event at O'Regan South Shore, your import superstore, North Street and Bridgewater. This is John Wiles on Rock and Country CKBW. 
Now the weather watch for Mr. Fish on King Street in Shelburne. Try their takeout serving seafood, hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken, burgers, chicken burgers, and more. More than fish, it's Mr. Fish. Cloudy with scattered showers, giving slight amounts, slight amounts this morning. Becoming mainly sunny this afternoon with the UV index high in the sun, a high of 24 to 28. Mainly clear overnight, a low of 16, and tomorrow mainly cloudy with a chance of showers and a high around 26. High tide at 1.55 p.m., low tide 9.10 p.m. Yeah, still have to throw those in? I did way back when. You did well. Hey, here's Thomas Wade and Wayward. She's getting serious. CKBW. That's Lori Morgan on Rocking Country CKBW. What part of no, don't you understand? 24 minutes after 11 as we take a look at the community bulletin board brought to you by Memory Lane in Liverpool. There's going to be a special church service today at St. John's Church in Bells Island beginning at 2. And also there's going to be Sea Fest at the Chester Yacht Club all day today. It's going to be activities for the whole family all afternoon and evening long. Proceeds go toward the Junior Sailing Program. For more information, call 275-3747. And a roast beef dinner with strawberry shortcake for dessert is being held at Trinity United Church Hall in Rose Bay from 4.30 until 6 today. Hey, I went for a nature break and I missed my cue. Is that what happened? So Bobby took over. She's good. I like this I'm woman. in control. The community bulletin board, you know, had, has been brought to you this hour by Memory Lane in Liverpool with film processing from five, processing from five ninety nine. Ask about their color photocopying service. Now you see them. Soon you won't. CKBW. Thank you very much, John. And a special thank you to O'Regan's, your import superstore on North Street, Bridgewater. It's J.C. Douglas here. Remember when we're flashing back on the uh, mid-80s, my days here at the South Shore. And here's Travis Tritt, more than you'll ever know. From Rockin' Country, CKBW. Rockin' Country, CKBW, Diamond Rio and How Your Love Makes Me Feel. This is J.C. Douglas doing the old remember when thing during the big X as uh, CKBW celebrates its 50th anniversary. And uh, Bobby is along uh, holding my hand here. Uh, thank you very much for being there, Bobby, because uh, without you, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't know what button to push. I wouldn't know what part. <laughs> You got a computer here for crying out loud. We don't push buttons anymore. You didn't have computers when I was here back when I was a little kid. When I was working at CKBW. And uh, I'm an old man now, but uh, glad to be back. And uh, we were talking about some of the uh, memories. It's funny because long, I'm long on memories, but much shorter on hair now than I was back <laughs> yeah. in uh, the mid-80s when I was doing the CKBW thing. And uh, so I'm all grown up now. But we were talking about uh, memories and, and what uh, recollections I have at the station. I'll tell you. One of my earliest memories of the station, and the most frightening for me at the time, <laughs> happened, uh, I was straight out of broadcasting school, of course, as we mentioned, it was my first uh, job in radio, and uh, so I was, my head was full of all the, uh, all the things I'd learned in school about relating to the audience, top of the mind awareness, right, Bobby? Gotta, gotta get them with what they're thinking about today, right? right? At the time, in 1985, spring of 85, the hot topic, one of them was uh, the new Coke. The, uh, the original Coke uh, recipe had been taking off the market, and they replaced it with a new Coke, and everybody was talking about, you know, they didn't like it, was basically the idea. I think Coke has since caught on and gone back to the classic right. uh, uh, formula. But because I thought, I have to really uh, take this to the audience and, and get their input on it, I put this on the air. No problem. People, call me. Tell me what you think of the new Coke. We made a great big deal about it. I had people on the air just screaming about how... One, one kid was on the air. I was talking mostly to the younger people on the South Shore at the time, so if I say kid, I don't, <laughs> don't mean it to, uh, to, be, uh, uh, to look down on anybody, but we were rocking in the evenings then. And one kid was on said, uh, my uh, glass that I had my cup of Coke in turned green. <laughs> and I said, you know, I was coming up with brilliant stuff like, wow, think of what it would do to your stomach. Oh, boy. I had Steve Kalorn, a former uh, CKBW announcer, uh, jock himself, uh, was doing a character he called Abdul, and he said, uh, you know, JC, I, I have uh, sweat off my camel that tastes better than the new Coke. And I'm going, this is great. We're really relating now. It was perfect. Until the next morning when I came in, got the big fat memo that said, JC, please, no more comments about Coke on the air. They just signed a $9,000 summer contract, and you may be in trouble. <laughs> Uh, but I also heard, because of that comment, the sales on the social of Coke products went up. Oh, I'm sure. 
I'm sure they skyrocketed. <laughs> they did. Honest to goodness. Jim Corbett was telling me that story. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, it had a, a, a good ending because a few days later I had another uh, memo that said uh, it's gone to the top. This, yeah. is from, this came from Bob McLaren, our program director mm -hmm. at the time, who's since left the station. A great guy to work for. I, I loved every minute of working for him. But uh, he uh, took it to me and said, this has gone right to the top. Uh, the head office in Halifax is going to come and meet with us about this. I'm shaken. I'm thinking three weeks in the radio business, the shortest career in all of professional radio for me. And, uh, and a couple days later, I came in early for the meeting. I was nicely dressed, nicely coiffed. I didn't get the haircut, though. But uh, I met the, uh, the regional rep of Coke, and he brought his son in. And his son said he enjoyed listening to the show. And, uh, and the fellow pulled uh, a six-pack of the new Coke out from behind his back and said, we want you to try our product and uh -oh. give it an honest summation, right? I went on the air and told everybody how much I love that new Coke. And then, of course, they took it off the market. I got hooked on it, then they took it off the market. So, so much for that. But anyway, I survived and uh, lived to tell the tale. It, it, like Jim Corbett, actually, was uh, telling me that story the other day. And really? uh, Jim was, uh, I guess, supposed to be monitoring you because you're a bit wild back then. <laughs> and uh, Jim was That's telling news me, to me. Jim was telling me he had to go home and listen to uh, what was going, to, what you were going to say. <gasps> That's and outrageous. Jim said he was sitting home and he heard it, and he freaked out. <laughs> you know, he didn't know what else to do. But uh, then we heard, you know, the good part of the story. So. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, that was learning uh, a lesson the hard way. But you know, he learned a lot of things working at CKBW, and, and I'm still learning them today. What you can't say about clients. Uh, because that's that's a no-no in radio. Jim Corbett, what a great name for you to bring up. One of my earliest pals here at the station. As a matter of fact, the very first day I went to work in uh, May of 85, I remember Jim came by my place, my apartment over on Meldrum Avenue, picked me up, took me to work, took me to lunch that day, took me around the town, showed me the ropes. He was an exceptional guy. He's coming in this afternoon, isn't Actually, he? Actually, he'll be here this afternoon. He yeah. was doing the afternoon drive show at the time, and uh, just a wonderful guy. I didn't know he was monitoring me, though. <laughs> That's, that's news to me. <laughs> let's jump into some more music. Okay, let's do that. Here's uh, Steve Warner. It won't be over you. From Rockin' Country, CKBW.